needs very nicely. Craig, we've had a number of questions about uh, performance enhancements in the product, and I guess specifically, you know, um, what what benefit does multi-core support bring to PaintShop Photo X3? Um, it's uh, it's depend it depends on the, exactly the the image uh, size that you're working with, uh, the types of tools that you're working with as as well. Uh, very very specific example. Uh, we have a very uh, uh, high quality uh, digital noise removal filter that we include. This is just one one example, probably the most dramatic example. Um, and uh, on a uh, Core 2 uh, Duo, uh, running the same test on uh, X 2.5 versus X 3, uh, we, we see that it takes uh, prox it's 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 a little bit more than half as long on x3 so it's 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 not quite um, uh, half the time uh, but it's really really close so um, much faster um, to to have a, a multi-threaded multi-core environment um, and uh, you know it's, here's something where uh, the quality is so high the quality is, is so good in that particular tool I didn't want to dumb down the algorithm because of the type of the class of machines that we're working with here um, but let's find a way of, of utilizing the extra hardware that so many users have got at this particular point and, and, and give it a go. Um, I didn't have a chance to show it to you, but uh, some of the some of the night uh, photos that I did um, during that that shoot, um, the the fireworks shoot, uh, just a little bit of light noise lying down there in the weeds on those things, and uh, um, you know as you zoomed in to, to full res, you could see just a little bit of ISO noise on it, and uh, hitting it with that uh, digital noise remover remo removes it completely. So I'm a I'm a proponent of the the quality and making sure that it's it's usable, uh, and again just being able to, to take Take advantage of the hardware, the hardware that so many users have at this point, and make it go faster. This was our objective with that. So we have a question, Craig, about photo books, and specifically, do we do the sort of online printing of photo books like a my publisher does? Um, the photo books are done uh, in the application, so the project uh, creator is where you where you do your sequencing, your building of those there. Then uh, at the end of the process, when you choose professional printing, uh, they're uploaded and um, uh, and 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 output. Uh, uh, through, through depending again on which region in the world you're you're using the application from through a, a printer and uh, it, 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 and then it's mailed back to you. So similar um, similar to a lot of the online services, uh, I think it. I, I personally feel it's a little uh, more uh, useful to have it uh, be uh, you know kind of right there in, in front of you, being able to drop your your pieces in and easily manipulate them back and forth uh, in the photo book. So it's a it's a it's it's and again it's a very classy output, very high quality output that you get back. Another question we've had from a few people is uh, it's from recent buyers of Paint Shop uh, photo. X2 or X2 Ultimate, and that is, uh, I've recently bought X2. Do I need to uh, do I need to pay the full upgrade price? And the good news is no. If you've bought uh, Paint Shop Photo X2 or Paint Shop Photo X2 Ultimate, say in the last 90 days, you'll be able to upgrade for 19.99. So that's a special offer uh, on, and uh, you'll be able to get that that uh, that special upgrade price if you're a recent buyer of X2, and we certainly appreciate your your purchase of X2 in, in the first place. So uh, glad to provide a simple and inexpensive route to get up to the newest version as well. Um, some other questions we have here, Craig. Where are we gonna Where are we gonna go next, Evelyn? Okay. So the uh, what about any enhancements to watermarking photos, Craig? Uh, it. It, no, no changes uh, to what we've done in the past. Uh, same, uh, same technique that we've used in the past is there and uh, still available. And and just as a, as a general um, kind of a baseline uh, point to be made here, uh, the uh, X3 product starts uh, with uh, where we left off on uh, on on X2.5 or the X2 Ultimate product. So uh, everything that in the, in the core application that was in that product uh, is in the X3 product, and um, you know it, it, we've we've only uh, kind of 
improved it from that particular baseline. So no enhancements, but of course that uh, the watermarking is still there. Another question we had is we've had a couple questions actually about uh, third-party filters and uh, compatible plugins for uh, for Paint Shop. Can you talk about uh, what third-party plugins we have here and what uh, what plugins we support? So we we support the uh, the general plugin architecture. So what would normally be called a, a, a normal Photoshop filter will uh, work within our architecture. Um, we actually have uh, several filters that we will make available. They'll be uh, available shortly for for free, um, just uh, from us. Uh, Kai's Power Tool uh, filters. Uh, we've got a, a small set of those that will, which will be delivered electronically uh, through to the to the users. Um, but uh, we we basically support um, any of the any of the standard uh, Photoshop uh, plugin architecture, filter architecture. Uh, um, uh, tools that are available out there. There's there are enhanced architecture and and standard architecture where which the vast vast majority um, of the tools that are available are using the standard architecture and that's what we support. So um, if a lot of uh, you know again I know there's a a lot of folks who uh, are at the enthusiast level who are buying uh, a number of the different types of uh, enhancement filters for uh, uh, specific looks, specific uh, uh, you know tools, uh, filters that, that deal with eyes, uh, deal with uh, uh, kind of giving uh, you know various edges, various types of uh, control uh, of of the mood of the of the photo. All of those filters that I've tried uh, tend to uh, seem to be working uh, flawlessly. And um, again, it's a great uh, architecture to extend in that particular way. Thank you, Craig. I had one last question here, but there's a number of questions still outstanding. First of all, I had one question I was going to jump on because it was a simple one. Someone was asking if we we're encouraging third-party uh, publishers to publish books about around Paint Shop, and the answer is yes. And I expect the first one will probably come out from San Gage Publishing. Um, you may be familiar with their uh, red-covered Paint Shop book that's uh, already available on on Amazon uh, for X2, and we're working with them on another one and talking to other publishers as well. So we will have some additional. Uh, books in support of that. Now we are actually out of time in today's webinar and there's still lots of questions to be answered so what we're going to do is go and parse through these questions and then we'll follow up with you um, the audience today uh, with answers to the bulk of your questions um, and either put them on in our zoom in newsletter or email you directly with those but in the meantime I encourage you to uh, watch your email for a follow-up email that will come from us tomorrow telling you more about where you can find these products and where you can find more information. Um, if you want more on uh, information about these products, do feel free to check out Corel.com or uh, you can even go to Corel.com to sign up for the Zoom In newsletter which comes out every two months and is packed with tips and links to tutorials for using X3. Again, if you're interested in video, I would suggest, uh, and again, our data says about 50% of you are, consider checking out one of our other webinars or going to crawl.com to look at our new photo and video Pro X3 bundle. Um, much as Paint Shop's available for a short time for $59, you're able to buy that, pro that product, including Video Studio and Paint Shop, for $119.99, and that's available until February 7th. Uh, so, Craig, was there anything you'd like to add before we wrap today's session? And just speaking of video, one of the ways I think that you can see a, a more about how the application works and more about specific features of the application is to go to our website, check out the uh, the features tab there, and it actually goes into the detail. You'll actually see little videos there of uh, one of the, the, our staff who is actually using the product, going through and uh, finding uh, specific uh, uses for different tools in the application so you can see how those are working. So um, that's kind of the direction we're going as well for sharing information, sharing uh, uh, how-to tips uh, is to use video and uh, again we uh, uh, you know, highly pr promote the idea of going off and looking at those and then look forward in the future to uh, some other uh, ways of sharing those with our overall community. Thank you Craig and again don't uh, if you're whether you're an advanced user or a digital imaging novice don't be shy about coming to Corel.com we've got all kinds of great resources there for you and uh, definitely keep an eye out in the future for more webinars from PaintShop Pro we're going to be uh, adding more over the next few months